Good morning to those who will listen. It is March 22nd, 2018, 1.22 a.m. Sorry. But uh, this is uh, part two of the SOS voicemail Stephen Hawking connection. And just to start off the whole thing here, I'm not saying that anything is a fact. These are just... Uh, possible theories about what could be so i'm just saying these are all just maybes and i'm just throwing it out there so and i also want to get other people's ideas and thoughts about you know what they think this could be too i mean all this could just be a hoax and nothing to it at all or maybe there is some deeper meaning that we're not quite getting i mean some of the messages that were that were figured out in that voicemail seemed to be pretty easy to figure out. But maybe there was other stuff that we haven't figured out yet. Or maybe the whole thing is just a hoax. But uh, I just want to state uh, off the bat too, is my channel is mainly dedicated to Planet X and the Sun Simulator. But I do do some videos about like hidden messages in commercials, TV shows, movies, stuff like that. Because we bring desensitized to uh, some things that the, they are putting in our shows, commercials, movies. And, you know, it's just a lot of little hidden messages. I don't know if it's related to the Illuminati. I mean, a lot of stuff seems to come back to that. And, and or just other stuff that they're uh, showing in there that just makes us think that everything is normal like um, there's a big one there's hexagons hexagons <clears throat> i see those all the time in commercials and shows and and even movies and the hexagons i think they're just trying to make it look like that's normal the hexagon represents the sun simulator and um also people have also pointed out that the sig you know this it's six sides uh, six angles, six points, and that's supposed to represent 666. Not sure about that, but yeah, it sure could, sure, surely could be. But anyway, the, the hexagons, if the sun simulator is artificial light, and it has, you know, if you've seen the patents of the, of the sun simulator, it has all these hexagons inside of a big hexagon. So if you see lens flares that look like hexagons, that to me proves it's a sun simulator, we're seeing like the shape of what the sun simulator is through the lens flares. <clears throat> and I just want to stay uh, off the bat too. The, you know, the purpose of the channel is mainly to show that stuff. But, you know, the main thing on my channel is to show you what is going on in the world. You know, mainly with the signs in the sun and the stars, the moon, signs in the weather. You know, it's just signs of anything that relates to Bible prophecy and uh, the return of Jesus. Because I really believe we are in the end times, and time is short. And I'm not, you know, showing these messages to make people uh, distracted or, you know, to throw out some weird uh, theories to fool people. Or, you know, I'm I'm just just this is just uh, throwing out some possibilities. I'm not saying that it is, but there's some really strange coincidences coincidences that I'm going to tell you about and you know you can decide for yourselves now remember this this whole thing is for everyone to decide for themselves i'm not saying anything is is fact in here this is just throwing out some uh theories so you know if you hear something see, a lot of the times i'll hear what other people do like this thing here is is from secure team 10 that's where i got the first information when i found out about all this stuff happening with the voicemail and, you know, I've heard other people's channels and, and what they put in there. And, you know, it makes you think. And then, you know, you, when you think of things, then maybe you think of other things. And then it kind of leads, you know, into a big th a thing where you keep thinking of more things that could possibly be. And then other people hear it and then they come up with some ideas too. And the purpose of, well, not, I should say, the, this is the follow-up uh, video. And it was inspired by one of my, uh, I don't know if he's a subscriber or he or she is a subscriber. But a watcher that commented, and it's, it's funny I didn't think of this sooner because of what I had in some of my other videos, but for some reason I didn't think of it. And maybe it was the timing thing of it because 
you know, I just, I think I wanted to wait a little bit just to hear more uh, opinions and other channels and, you know, what they're thinking and maybe, you know, come up with something. Sorry, I'm kind of making this long already, but <clears throat> I'll get there. Sorry. What happened? What just happened? The lighting changed of some kind. Oh, the, I think it dimmed. Hold on. So anyway, I just, uh, you know, when you uh, think of things, sometimes it, it triggers a brainstorm and you think of other things. So that's what happened in this case. And I thank you for the subscriber. I don't know if he, they want to be known or not, but I just want to thank them for throwing that out there because it gave me the inspiration for this video here. All right, let's go on now. Uh, I put out a video about the Morse code thing. Uh, well, for, first off, the first uh, one with the voicemail was SOS Danger uh, is dire that you evacuate and, you know, that they are not human. So uh, I noticed this Morse code message in one of those, uh, I don't know if it was part of the, the voicemail or if it was just a separate text that somebody got or if that's what Ty got. But anyway, I've looked through all these comments, and there was lots of them, hundreds and hundreds of comments, and I couldn't find any that uh, tried to decipher this Morse code message. So I did, and it was, it says, uh, the message you received is well related to Stephen Hawking's death. They are not human. No, be cautious, they are not human. So, got that out of that one. And then there was other ones that had numbers, and they, you know, could be dates or coordinates. So there was one, you know, of course, the 4 18, 18 you know, which could represent April 18th of 2018. Don't know that for sure. But, you know, that's, that's something that's in there, too. And there were some other numbers. <clears throat> and when I did the coordinates, I came up with a triangulated area near the Middle East, and I'll show you that in a minute, too. So here's where I came up with for the triangulated area. It was 4230-0429-3396. And I came up with this. <clears throat> this area for the coordinates, uh, it goes from the Black Sea near Turkey and Bulgaria uh, through Africa, which is uh, in the Republic of Congo, and on the borders of South Sudan and Uganda. And then in China was a, a Yushu uh, province, I believe, in China. So, but then the uh, the comment that I got from somebody was saying, you know, what about Saudi Arabia? Is Saudi Arabia in here? And, and if you look right, right there in the middle is Saudi Arabia. So that got me thinking. And, you know, it, just, it surprises me that I didn't think of it because I was talking about the AI because it says, you know, they are not human. You know, there's been, you know, the theories are, you know, they were aliens. Well, you know, that's a you know, possibility. Aliens, what about fallen angels? That's a possibility. But what about AI? So that's what I was thinking. AI, and you got Saudi Arabia. That's where Sophia the robot became a, a citizen of Saudi Arabia. And, you know, she made appearances there and did those interviews. <clears throat> and... I don't know, it's just a, a thought. So there's the, the thought of that. Maybe it's AI taking over Saudi Arabia or maybe taking over the Middle East or some other countries or just one, something in that area. Now, the other theory I had before was maybe this triangulated area was the area where maybe something was going to happen with like an earthquake or weather. Um, there was, you know, the solar storms that was happening. And then there was those, that Schumann resonance spikes that was happening for like four days straight. So I thought, well, maybe there's, you know, they could get through there and maybe cause an earthquake. I don't know. There's another theory I thought of before, but I don't know. You know, that one doesn't seem as plausible as any of the others. But then again, do any of these theories sound, you know, they all sound like they're crazy out there, but you know, that's what sometimes they are. So don't know. So the the thing with the date, you know, it was 4 18, 18. There was no dots in between. There was no zero in front of the four. And it was like American time and not international time. So that, you know, makes it kind of, you know, iffy, you know, 
about that. So that might not even be a date. It might be something else too. Just throwing that out there too. Um, I really don't think it was uh, coordinates to where the missing airline, the Malaysian airliner went, you know, missing. I really don't think that is. I think that if anything is just a distraction uh, to get us, you know, looking somewhere else and not, you know, whatever we were trying, you know, to find. Maybe we're looking somewhere totally different. I don't know. Another thing about that. And then uh, in that one message where it said SOS, danger, SOS, maybe the SOS, this is where I came up with the Schumann resonance spikes. Because if uh, if you go to uh, to see where they monitor those frequencies and stuff, you get uh, space observing system, SOS. So maybe the SOS was that space observing system, and we're supposed to watch that, and I don't know. But So there's another thing to maybe look at, maybe on April 18th. If that's a date, maybe see if there's something, a solar storm going on at that time. I don't know. Just another thing to throw out there. Uh, and then again, the thing with uh, Stephen Hawking. You know, I'm not, you know, I put the thing message. Did Stephen Hawking send this message? I put I always put question marks because I'm not saying it's, it's just a, a theory. It's just a, an idea, a possibility. So I threw that out there. I don't know if Stephen Hawking sent that message. I mean, the timing was kind of close. I don't know if he died before or after that message got sent. According to, you know, the timeline of when things happen, you know, he died uh, after the message. So I don't know. So that's just another thing, you know, with that, with Stephen Hawking. I don't know if that's an actual thing either. <clears throat> and... A lot of people are saying, you know, maybe April 18th is the rapture or maybe the end of the world. And I can pretty much assure you that it is not. Remember, in the Bible, it says no man knows the day or the hour. So anyone that says a date, you can pretty much count on, count on that it's not. It's just a, it's just not going to happen because no one, no one knows. And uh, Jesus is going to come as a thief in the night. No one's going to know. So anybody throwing uh, dates out there, I just don't believe it. We can know the time. We can know the season. I believe we're in that season. I believe we're in that last generation. This generation shall not pass. I believe that, uh, you know, the, Israel had to be reborn as a country. And that's another thing that's coming up, too. Israel's 70-year uh, anniversary of their independence happens on May 14th of this year. And they are bound to determine the United States is and Israel to get that embassy uh, up and running by May 14th. Even if it's an interim embassy to start with. And that's another thing. <clears throat> I believe Israel has a big, big, big part in the, in the end time prophecies and time scenarios. Okay, so... You know, I don't know if this whole thing is a big hoax or not, but I'm just throwing out theories out there, and maybe we can get into uh, figuring something out if everybody contributes their thoughts and ideas and opinions about this. And, you know, a lot of people think this is like a laughing matter, you know, making fun about this, but, you know, let's just take it seriously for just a minute, and maybe it could be something. I'm not saying it is, but who knows where it will lead. And I just pray. That's one thing. I pray that, you know, all the the videos that I do, you know, maybe we can all uh, contribute to it and find answers. That's the, the main goal is to, you know, find more answers so we know, can prepare for Jesus coming. And, you know, I thank a lot of the uh, new subscribers out there. This is what I, I do. So, I mean, if I offend people by believing in Jesus and believing that the end of the world is coming soon, not the end of the world, but the, the end of the times, and, you know, Jesus is coming, then I'm sorry. But uh, that's what I believe. You know, it's up for you to believe what you believe, and I just pray that you will go to Jesus for the answers, for the truth. You know, don't believe everything that I'm saying. Don't believe everything that ev uh, other people are putting out. Go to Jesus for the answers. That's the main thing that I'm trying to say today <clears throat> is, you know, we're trying to find answers in the signs that is happening. I mean, this one, this might not be part of it. You know, there's lots of other things, but, you know, it might be. And if anything, if it connects to something else and it leads to something else and it leads to you going to Jesus, 
that's the main goal of this channel. So I just want to thank everybody again for watching. Thank you again for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, and I, you know, I put out a lot of videos mainly of the Sun Simulator and, and Planet X system. So I believe that that's coming too. And I believe there's all kinds of other signs uh, going on. We got 5G, we got AI, we got all the weather with the earthquakes and the volcanoes. There's so many signs and everything, CERN. <clears throat> and, you know, there's so much more, too, that's going on that I believe is all related to the one world government that's coming, the one world money system, and the Antichrist being revealed soon, too. Well, I'm not saying any dates, because I won't do that, because I don't know. But I just know it's coming soon, and I think Jesus is coming soon, too. So that's what I believe, and... Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. God bless.